Welcome to page nine, where we give you a peek into the Hatchets newsroom and explain what the headlines mean for you. This week joining us is assistant news editor Eva Palmer, who wrote a story about the university police department's impending review from a board who will determine whether or not there's been a culture of sexual harassment and discrimination after three former officers filed official complaints against the university in the last year. Eva, thanks for joining us. Thank you. First, to give us some context about this, how common is it that a university would hire an official board to review the practices of the police department? Well, bringing in a consultant is fairly common, especially when a police chief steps down. Um, as I'm sure you know, Chief Hay stepped down about two weeks ago. Um, so usually what happens and what my experts have told me is that sometimes a consultant will come in to make sure that you know the problems that are in the department kind of have been resolved before they bring in a new permanent chief. Sure. So I feel like a lot of students hear about legal proceedings and the jargon confuses them. They become disinterested in the news. What real impacts could we see on the campus and with the university police department if the review board were to find an implicating uh, culture of sexual harassment? Well, it kind of depends. Um, the review can kind of go two ways. You could have a consulting firm who goes in and makes a private or a public report that says, okay, here's a list of the, all the things that you're doing wrong. You need to hire new people. You need to lay off people. You need to make changes to the policies and procedures that are in the department, or you could have a consulting firm come in and say, you're doing everything right, which is also kind of a thing that happens. So it really kind of depends on the consulting firm. Uh, to me, the most interesting part of your story was in the last two paragraphs when you quote someone who said that regardless of whether or not somebody found an incriminating culture here, it wouldn't affect the legal proceedings that are already occurring for the people that have filed complaints against the university. What would that mean for the people who filed those complaints and what would happen to them in the future? Sure, so the way that it works is that because the um, review is going to happen after the lawsuits are filed, um, it can't be used in a court of law. So basically, you know, when they do these officer interviews and you know sit down and kind of analyze the department, they might find that they're may or may not have been harassment or discrimination or things like that. So unfortunately, for the people who have brought these cases against the university, that can't be used um, in the court for the lawsuits that are currently pending against the department. Um, so it doesn't really kind of have an impact. Um, you know, a lot of my experts have said that this is something that could either, you know, just kind of be a shadow consultant where they say, yeah, you're doing everything right, or it could be, okay, here are all these problems and here's the way to fix them. Well, that's all for this week. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on page nine.